Welcome back to Auntie's Farm. Today is an exciting day on Auntie's Farm because today Auntie gets her bees back. It's finally spring here in Australia so Auntie can get new bees. If you remember back in winter we had a lot of floods and my bees were dealing with robber bees and wax moth and it was too much for them so they flew away and they left my hive. So Auntie has had no bees all winter but now that it's spring auntie's getting some bees back so we have to get the hive ready so we have to bring the hive back out so this box is where the bees live this is called the brood box so we're going to have a look at all the different parts of the beehive before the bees get here a local beekeeper is giving auntie some bees to put in her beehive. So let's have a look. Let's start at the bottom of the hive. So we'll take the brood box off. So this is the base or the feet, whatever you want to call it. So the base is where the legs are on the hive and this keeps the hive up off the ground because bees have a lot of problems with ants because bees make honey and ants like to eat honey. So if you look at the legs, they actually have these special little guards on them that are ant guards. They, you put a little bit of water or oil in there and the ants don't like to climb through that to get up the legs into the hive. So it does deter them a little bit, but some ants still manage to get through. Next part we have is this bit here that comes out. Now, this is so we can access our tray. Our tray is a really good tool because it sits at the bottom of the hive and it shows us what's going on in the hive without actually opening it up. So the tray, I normally put a little bit of oil in here because the oil is really good at catching hive beetles. So if the hive beetles drop down, hive beetles are a pest and we don't want them in our hive because they're a pest to the bees. So they'll drop down and they'll get caught in the oil and that helps the bees out. We also get to see all the other stuff that's dropping down like pollen or wax or anything else. We get to have a really good look at what's going on with the tray. So the tray is going to go in and when the bees are here we'll put the oil in it ready but right now we're just going to sit it in there and then this goes in you'll see there's vents and in summer you want the most amount of air in your hive as possible to keep it nice and cool so we turn it this way so the vents go up above the tray in winter you turn it the other way so the vents are below and the air goes under the tray so because spring in Australia is still very hot, we're going to have them up for maximum airflow for our bees. The next part of the hive is this bit. So this is kind of the, the bottom of the hive for the bees. So this is where the bees come into the hive on the landing board here at the front. So they land on the landing board and this little strip here is their front door. That's how they get in, it's the entrance. So they come in the entrance and they can walk all over this and the little bits that drop down into our tray is what we get to look at. So that way we're not disturbing the bees when we pull the tray up because they'll be up on this part. The next bit of the hive is the brood box. So brood is what we call bee eggs or bee larvae, baby bees. So brood is in this box. This is where the bees live. And it, this is also where the queen bee lives. So the queen bee only goes in the bottom box and she lays all of her eggs in here and they hatch and the smaller bees fit through this queen excluder. 
So the queen excluder goes on top and that keeps the queen down in this bottom box because the queen is too big to fit through here to get up the top. So why would we want to keep the queen down here and all the eggs down here? Because we want the top box just for honey. So let's go get the top box. So this box goes on top and it's called our super box. So you've got the super sits on top of the queen excluder which sits on top of the brood box. So the super box is where all the honey gets made because the queen can't get up here to lay eggs. She'll lay eggs down here. The bees will put pollen and honey down here as well for all the larvae to eat. And once they run out of storage room down here, they'll keep putting honey up here, but there won't be any eggs. So that's how the hive works. Then we've got our frames. So Auntie can show you the frames for the super, but we don't have the frames for the brood box yet because that's what the beekeeper is bringing. So this is what one of the super frames looks like. Now it already has wax in there. This is a special kind of hive. This is called a flow hive and the super frames are different from traditional honey hive frames by the way that you harvest it. So you don't have to use special tools to harvest the honey out of a flow hive. You just put the key in, turn it, and that's how you get your honey. So the frames go in here. In the top, we have six super frames. And down in the bottom in the brood box, we have eight, well we will have, eight brood frames that the beekeeper is bringing with all of our bees in it. So on the super box you might notice there's a few things happening. We've got a lot of windows, a lot of access for looking in here. This is so we can monitor how much honey we have and if it's ready to harvest without actually opening the hive up and disturbing the bees and upsetting them. So we can look through and there's a bit of plastic there that protects us and we can see how full the side of the frame is. And on this side, we can see all six frames. We can see the end to see if they've filled the honey up right to the end. Okay, so this part goes on before the roof. So you can sit it up exactly like that. Or if you want honeycomb, the bees will build honeycomb in your roof. You take this out, which the bees have sealed it up quite good. So you poke that out. And then you've got a hole here that the bees can get up into the roof and make a honeycomb that you can harvest. But we still need a roof. Let's go get it. There we go. So do you think this hive is ready for the new bees yet? Not quite. There's something we need to do to get the hive ready for optimal harvesting of the honey. So this is the back of the hive. This is where auntie spends most of her time because the bees will be flying in the entrance. So I normally don't go around the entrance unless I need to put an entrance reducer on or do something around there because that's where the bees like to go and you don't want to get in the bees way when they're busy doing their work. So I hang out here at the back. I'm going to show you what we need to do to make sure when we harvest honey it comes out the back where it's meant to down into my jars. The hive actually has two levels on it. The levels tell us if the hive's in the correct position. So we've got one here on the back and one on the side. And the hive actually needs to be on a slight tilt towards the back. So that way when we harvest the honey, it runs towards the back. Not a big tilt, just enough for the honey to move slowly back. And then we also need to make sure that it's not tilting side to side this way. So we need to make it nice and level. By doing that, we have to twist the legs to adjust them because they can be taller and shorter. So we make each leg the right length so that the hive is nice and stable. Because if you look now, the hive is not stable. It should not be doing this. Okay, now we're ready for the bees, yay! 
Got my bee suit on. Auntie is almost ready for the other beekeeper to get here. Let's open up the box, ready to put the bees into the brood box. The other beekeeper is here, and she is going to help me put all of these bees into my hive. When you're handling bees, one of the most important things you can do is be calm and move slowly and gently. This helps the bees feel relaxed. If we move too quickly or too rough, the bees might get scared and think that we're trying to hurt them. So they might try to protect themselves by stinging us. But we don't want that. We don't want to scare the bees. So we're moving nice and slow and we're staying calm. So the bees stay calm. Now when we put the frames from this box into my hive, it's really important that we keep them in the same order that they're already in because bees are so clever that they make their hive organized and they like to put honey on the outside, brood on the inside and they have it all worked out the way that they want it. So we need to keep it that way so the bees can be happy. So we make sure we put the frames in the exact same order for the bees. Here's the last frame. But there's still a few bees in the box and we don't want to leave any bees behind. So we need to tap the bees out of the lid here. So we're going to tap. You can see how many bees are in there. There's still a few bees left in there. So Auntie's going to get her bee brush, which is a really gentle brush, just to move the bees along, just to get them out of the roof and into the hive. Then we need to tap them out of the bottom of the box as well and the baseboard too and then that's all of the bees the bees will need time to get used to their new home they might be a little bit stressed out so we need to put the hive back together for them as quickly as possible but also staying calm to put it back together auntie needs to get rid of all of this honeycomb that's sticking up out of the top so that way I can fit the queen excluder back on top. Okay, I've cleared off the top. So now we put the queen excluder on and then we get the super and the roof and we put that on as well. And that's it. The bees are moved into their new home. How exciting, auntie has bees again, yay. So now the bees are in their new home Auntie's going to give them a few weeks to settle in because they'll be feeling a little bit agitated. Moving is hard, especially for bees. So they're in their new home. I'll let them settle in and then we'll come back and check on them and make sure they're doing all right. See if they're making honey and checking for all the things we need to check for with bees. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this one, don't forget to subscribe to see all of my videos. But most importantly, don't forget to be kind. I'll see you next time. Buzz, 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 buzz.